Next song is called Fairy Tales for the Stars. And once again, there is a curiosity to be said because this song for the first time was born from the title, not from the music. Oh, yes. Uh, I had this idea. I told Marco, you know, I have this title in my mind, uh, Fairy Tales for the Stars, because all the times it's the stars that somehow uh, give us vibes, give us some energy, some brightness. We look at the star and from them we get some positive energies to save us in the darkest moment or to get inspired. And I thought, but we never praise the stars. We never say thanks to the stars. So I wanted to do the opposite. I wanted to sing a song for the stars and not from the stars. Da, 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 da. Let's rewrite the stars. <laughs> Basically, I wrote a song for Michele to show his skills. Uh, this song is wrote on your uh, vocal range. You did a great job on this song. Actually, you helped me a lot in the studio. Yeah, as every time. But, <laughs> but this time it was peculiar because when I was in the studio, I started singing and I had my idea of the song. And at a certain point, he told me, no, you know what? We should completely change here. You should go falsetto the mood, in this part. Yes. We should split this and make it work in a, in a different way. Like, for instance, the chorus. To me, at the beginning, it was like just a full-powered chorus in which I unleashed all my energy from the beginning to the end. And he said, no, let's, let's divide it. Let's go falsetto with this uh, choir mm -hmm. that is singing at the beginning. And then you answer to it. There is this interchange between two versions of myself, and mm -hmm. it's thanks to Marco if it sounds like this, because I would have interpreted the song in a completely different and way. And I love the final result. I, I love honestly. it too. It's, it's, it's really, one of my really favorite cool. tracks from the album. Because you're the pop guy, and this oh, is the second course, pop song. Course. <laughs> <laughs> the next track is Let's Get Started. And it's the most rock song of the album. And um, as for Fairy Tales for the Stars for you, mm -hmm. and Idle Loneliness for me, Basically, it was wrote for the uh, Alessia's voice because I think it's perfect for her kind of voice. Yeah, Alessia is a super fan of hard rock, uh, AOR and rock music in general. Mm -hmm. If you ask her which is your favorite band, she will say Whitesnake, uh, Depeche Mode and Whitesnake, but yeah, mainly Whitesnake. And she's a super fan of Heat and all the AOR vibe. This world uh, that Marco uh, wrote for her in Let's Get Started is just her world. Mm -hmm. I really love the lyrics, especially the, the part in the chorus, because it fits it perfectly for this moment, for this period of time, yeah. about the pandemic, of course, but it's very positive. It's very temperance. It's, it's, it's really it's very temperance. temperance. It's really temperance. You know, this let's get started, let's get started. Uh, because we have to come back, we have to come back on stage, we have to come back on, to see some shows. Yeah, we, we have to get back our lives and it's time to get it started again. Yes, but not only about music, but about art in general, travel mm. and uh, experience. I remember that when Alessia was writing the lyrics, she told me that one other option for the chorus, instead of let's get started, would have been let's restart it okay because of Could course be the, the bonus track yeah let's restart it let's restart <laughs> it <laughs> and uh, at the end of the track um, you will find a lot of vocal, vo vocal, vocal tracks because as we did for start another round we put a lot of different tracks and uh, you will have your parts a lot i have my parts we have the, the the stadium, the stadium, the stadium choirs, choirs, and uh, it was very difficult to mix. So yeah, Jacob Benz did, <laughs> did a great job as every time. So, yeah, thank you, Jacob. Another funny funny fact: the beginning of the song, in which ah. I <laughs> I did a count in, and if you listen carefully, you can even hear the click uh, to make Alessia start. Uh, this is like a take taken out of the microphone from the studio because when we record the vocals. Uh, with temperance, we are in the same room all together, mm -hmm. as you could see from the pictures maybe uh, that we posted on the mm -hmm. social networks. So the thing that you can hear at the beginning is what happened at the beginning of the song. The last track of the album is called Follow Me. Japanese track excluded. Ah. Japanese track excluded. Yes. <laughs> Follow Me, it's a really important song for temperance because this, for the first time, we can't say it's a song of mine or it's a song of Marco. Okay, Marco is the main writer for Temperance since the very beginning of the band. 
but since I jumped in, I contributed myself. And there are songs like Gaia or Let It Beat, in which I feel like they are my songs mm -hmm. because yes. I uh, gave them to the band fully composed, mm -hmm. pretty much as you do with all the other songs. Mm -hmm. Because if you take like Let's Get Starter, if you take, uh, I don't know, um, I Will Only Net Code Breaker, <laughs> those songs, those tracks, Marco gave them to us complete like from the beginning to the end. Of course, they have to be arranged, they have to be... Um... But just to know, I'm totally open to change. No, that's for sure, <laughs> that's for sure. I mean, the demos that he sends us... No, you are have to like... do this, this stuff, guys. <laughs> are like sometimes the clean electric guitar, mm, <laughs> sometimes course, you have distortions. Of course. So it's, it's foggy, but the structure is complete. There are no lyrics because we basically write the lyrics afterwards. But the idea of the song is clear. When it comes to Follow Me, we composed this song on Zoom, online. Again, during the pandemic, it was the two of us on a video chat with, you know, the uh, DAW open aside. And I, I had this idea, uh, this in, the intro riff, like... Da -da 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 and Marco said, okay, let's do it with this instrument. Let's try to put it down. Mm -hmm. And then he was thinking about the harmony of the chords. Mm -hmm. So he recorded the guitars at his place while we were on Zoom. And he sent me immediately the files and I... Just to create the song. I put them into, into Cubase, I re-amped them <laughs> and I started to write it. And then, then in the meantime, if you, if you remember this thing... This, you, were, you were having tea? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> You, you build the track, the project, I mean, and I record a lot of choirs. Okay, okay, just one moment. Okay, okay, la, 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 la. okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. one moment, Mick. Yeah, you Let's were... mix the rest of the song. La, 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 la. <laughs> he was deactivating the microphone, singing on the side. Then he was setting me the, choir, the choirs. And then I said, okay, the verse could go like this. So I deactivated my microphone with him and I was singing the verse. And I sang it over the, the harmony that we put down. So basically the song evolved step by step online mm -hmm. and we didn't know at the beginning how it would have sounded no of course so we started with the intro we went into the verse then we created the bridge then we created the chorus and every piece of the song was completing each other step by step and it was so funny so <laughs> we cool should, we should do it again <laughs> yes yes of course so when it comes to follow me songwriters is the two of us of like course 100 100 percent